Okay, uh, we're leading up to the week of the race in Japan, the Indy Japan 300. I'm here with Takuma Sato, the number five uh, Lotus KV racing technology uh, driver. Uh, well, first of all, what do you think of the Motegi race? Well, I think it's going to be uh, pack and awesome, I would hope. Um, I never raced in Motegi in my life, but um, obviously having done you know, good experience in Oval, I'm, I'm, I think I'm ready to, to go there and to see the old uh, Japanese Roko Fang. I mean, obviously you have a lot of followers in Japan. Are you going to be really excited? Do you know how many people are coming out to see you? I don't know, um, but obviously in Suzuka days, it was uh, so many people. I mean, for the uh, generally, I think Japanese fan is so enthusiastic for the mode racing. And um, I think, uh, you know, having three of us, you know, go to uh, the racing together, I think it's going to be uh, a big thing for Japanese fans and uh, I would expect a big cheering for each of us and um, I'm sure with like it's such an open paddock in IndyCar Silly so you know I think I have to get my arm ready to get uh, so many autographs. Well I've been spotting for you throughout the season unfortunately I'm gonna be in the car or I should say fortunately for me so uh, but uh, I mean what are you gonna do about it are you gonna have somebody better than me or worse? I don't know, you know, Roger. I mean, that was a, that was a great thing. Really fortunate, I think I would say, and I'm very pleased that the, you know, here that the, you are racing together. And um, obviously, a little sad my part, you know. I I um I think we're working really well, and just to build up. And um, you know, every time back in the car, it's very comfortable because of your voice, and uh, you know, your precise information was was really good. I guess um, if we could have a two-way radio in the car, and if, if you could still spottering from the car, <laughs> that would be great. Absolutely. If I'm fast enough, I'll, I could certainly be your wingman if you wanted yeah. me. Just, just let me know. We'll talk. Sure, sure. I think I think yeah, it's going to be a great thing to see you on the, on the truck. I'm quite looking forward to that. Thank you. Um, what do you think of oval racing? I know you grew up uh, doing a lot of road course racing. Uh, oval is a lot different, I would imagine. Is there any thoughts you could give? Um, it's both very different aspect, but I think it's both very exciting and particularly over overtaking and the side by side. And you know, occasionally you do two wides and three wides, and that's uh, you never experience in the road course racing. And and an oval racing is something very different. I've been used to, but um, really enjoyed it. Um, and hopefully, you know, before just Mategi, we need to good momentum, keep good momentum. So hopefully, uh, you know, weekend was was a pretty good. Um, Motegi obviously has a different style in terms of an oval track. I mean, turn one and two is fairly wide, turn three, four is tight. Um, it's almost like a road course oval. Are you looking forward to that? Oh, is it? Oh, you tell me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to give you any tips. Okay. But... Um, I think so. I think, uh, you know, having heard, you know, from many drivers that oval in Motegi is very unique. And uh, in terms of the difficulty, it's quite challenging because turn three and a characteristic difference between one and two and three and four. Uh, but as you said, if it's, a, it's like a load course type of the high speed section, I think I would love to take it. And um, hopefully uh, the, all the Japanese fans and cheering would uh, boost you know, three of us.